Hey, check me out right now. If you have a vote for this year's Grammy Awards and happen to be checking out this video, I strongly suggest you check out Body Open by Perry Jones for your Grammy consideration and the Cookout Album Volume 1 by various artists for Album of the Year. Independent artists stand up. Let's go. Promote your brand here at Vile Hip Hop News. Email me, Sam Ant at thehiphopnews.com. No wait, let's go. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man Sam Ant here at Vile Hip Hop News. Go to hit that like button, smash that notification bell, and if you're not subscribed to Vile Hip Hop News, ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now to the brand. Appreciate each and every one of y'all, and let's get to work. All right, Candace Owens has been very busy as of late. She has a new documentary out. I guess you could say exposing or, or shedding light on behind the scenes of Black Lives Matter. We've seen Kanye talking about it. We've seen her, Ray J, and Kanye on the red carpet. This documentary has been causing a lot of chaos. Hell, Kanye was on Drink Champs speaking about a piece of the Black Lives Matter documentary regarding George Floyd. If you haven't seen that, man, oh man, I can't... uh. Yeah, I, I can't support Kanye on that one. I got to watch the whole interview to get full context of exactly what he said. Because, of course, they're just throwing out the hottest pieces of it. But what I heard, eh, yeah, I, I don't I don't know, man. But anyway, needless to say, Candace Owens is out here waging all-out war on Black Lives Matter and anything seemingly to do with black. Strong black woman, as we can see right here. Beautiful black woman, as we can see right here. But for some reason or another... When it comes to anything involving the culture, she seems like she wants to do anything to oppose anything we have going on. Now, some things she is very correct on. I can give her that. Certain topics that she touches when it comes to the political parties, I definitely can agree with. But there's a lot that I can't agree with. There's a lot that I don't understand. And I think that a conversation would do very well. But anyway, obviously her being out here on the news causes a lot of news and causes a lot of conversation somebody that she formerly grew up with i'm not sure this lady's name but she came out this is courtesy of hollywood unlocked and she had some things to say to candace owens in regards to their childhood in regards to their high school experience back in 2007 and how candace owens was very very different than the candace owens we see now i'm going to play the clip of what her former high school classmate had to say and I'll come back with my one, two. Let's go. I don't want to be a part of this culture. Um, you can stick around if you want. You can go watch the original video for context. I got something to say to Candace. She's probably never going to see this, but I just want to say my piece. Hey, Candace. Hey, girl. You remember high school? I remember high school. It was It was quite a while ago. It was like 15 years ago. You remember 2007? I remember 2007. Um, I remember some very horrible things happened to you in 2007, and some very racist white children called you, including the mayor's son, um, and said some very racist things to you and threatened your life. That should have never happened to you. That was terrible. Um, I remember you sued the school board for that. I remember because everybody was talking about it. My family was talking about it. My grandma was calling up your grandma. Uh, the entire school school system was talking about it. It was a huge deal because the mayor's son was involved and you had the NAACP backing you up when that happened and they got you your settlement you sh I think I, I think you should have gotten more because I am always ready to let racists pockets bleed but regardless NAACP backed you up the black community backed you up I don't know a single black person who was not backing you up. And I've read, I've read some of the like statements that you've made about that time and about how no one supported you. Um, and that everybody just threw you under the bus. And I do remember that. I do remember white people were very vocal about their want for violence towards you. It was deplorable. But that was not the black community. And, you know, a lot has happened since then. You've definitely made a bed for yourself. You're lying in it. Um, 
that's all good and dandy for you. You've decided to step on the necks of the people who supported you when you were at your lowest. And, you know, those of us who've known you for a while have just watched you. We watched you switch platforms in 2017 when you came out on YouTube. We watched you go from trying to fight the good fight to realizing the good fight don't get you paid and go into where the money resides. I would say I'm not mad at you for chasing the bag, but you're chasing the bag at the expense of your people. And that's some coon shit. Like, I, you made a career out of being a coon. So, when you say you never wanted to be a part of the culture, remember, the culture is the one who supported you when no one else All right, there you have it. Appreciate the woman who shared her thoughts and feelings and memories of Candace Owens a couple years back, 15 years ago to be exact, 2007, that's about 15 years ago. I want to give you guys an opportunity to leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of what we just heard. You know, when I when I when I see Candace Owens now, you could tell that she's very strong. She's very opinionated. When she has feelings, she's definitely going to argue them. We see that playing out in real time. But I feel like somewhere along the way, her acceptance and her need to be accepted by white America changed her so bad that she realized the only way she could be accepted and the only way that she could gain any type of financial status or gain from what she's trying to do is to completely go against her own i don't know if she genuinely feels the way she does about her own or she's doing it for a check i don't know if throughout time she just started looking in the mirror and because of the circumstances she dealt with the hate the the racism and things she made have dealt with throughout time she started just hating herself and hating her kind and wanted to go completely against the grain i'm not exactly sure I would love to have a conversation with her just to speak on things because I think that she would have a conversation and that would be dope. I'm not close to that by any stretch of the imagination. But until then, y'all leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think of what we just heard. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Appreciate y'all support. If y'all feel necessary to share this video, please share this video as well as liking and, like I said, commenting on the content. Until next time, until next story, Sam and CEO of the brand, Viral Hip Hop News. I love y'all. Love yourselves. I'm out of here. Peace.